Eric Cameron here, registered physiotherapist. Today, I'd like to talk to you about some of the exercises that a patient potentially might avoid uh, if they're having uh, shoulder pain irritation as a result of some form of impingement or where the, having the head of the humerus anteriorly translate or move forward uh, might create some of their pain or discomfort. But before I continue, please hit that subscribe button below so you'll be notified about any new videos that I have here on my channel. So essentially today, I'd like to just talk about some of the uh, exercises that uh, you might do in the gym uh, that unfortunately might actually create more uh, pain in the shoulder, particularly for somebody who's been having pain with uh, impingement type syn uh, syndrome. So what I mean by that essentially is if we're having pain around this sort of 90 degree abduction type position or if there's sort of sensitivity in that area, uh, in a lot of cases then uh, with a patient like that, if, if the head of the humerus is anteriorly transient. What I mean by that essentially is if it's going forwards, it can then create a pinching or irritation on several different structures within this area. So it could be a bursa, could be a uh, rotator cuff tendon. And so it, when somebody's uh, rehabbing uh, this particular condition and they want to get back to the gym, there's certain exercises that we might actually have them completely avoid or to modify in certain ways. And so I just wanted to go through some of the main ones that might be detrimental for this particular patient. Uh, so again, if we think about it from the standpoint of those activities and positions in which the head of the humerus is going to protrude forwards, uh, one of the big ones that can be really detrimental for these patients is dips, right? So if we're going into these type of positions, right, you can again see how that head of the humerus is going to go forward when we're doing a dip machine and you sort of combine that with your body weight, uh, again, it's going to be potentially quite sensitive and it's going to be a vulnerable position for that patient. Uh, another one are those upright rows, right? So again, if you think about when we're going into this position here, uh, it actually uh, inadvertently uh, can go into one of the impingement type uh, positions, right? If we're going into this upright row position. Another thing to consider is if we're doing uh, chest press, for example, uh, we want to make sure about our range of motion. So ideally, uh, we want to stay within sort of that 90 degree mark. So we're not right going into that end range position where again, the head of the humerus potentially might be going uh, forward. So we want to be really cautious and careful uh, with regards to that exercise. Uh, another one to be cautious about is uh, if we're doing, let's say an abdominal exercise, and we're leaning back on our elbows, well, what's that gonna do? It's gonna, again, force that head of the humerus uh, forward and potentially gonna cause some more pain. Uh, flies, again, we wanna be, same sort of idea around uh, doing the chest press in which, you know, we wanna sort of stay within that 90 degree mark. Well, with flies, we also wanna just make sure we're staying within that sort of horizontal um, framework, not going past 90, right? So if we're doing a fly, we want to be really careful, right, that we're staying within that neutral zone and we're not going past that. Again, there's that potential, right, to be causing more, um, uh, more discomfort going anteriorly uh, into that position. So again, I just wanted to point out some of those exercises in the gym. This would be more for a patient where they've gone through uh, their typical rehab program, they've strengthened the rotator cuff muscles, they're, they're good to go, so to speak, in terms of reintroducing some of those gym exercises. These are some that, again, might want to avoid, uh, particularly when we're rehabbing from an impingement type position where that anterior position is going to be uh, vulnerable for the patient. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment below and please make sure to check with a doctor or physiotherapist to make sure that uh, this and any of the exercises here are appropriate for you. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Take care.